Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crimin Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about the most obscene novel I have ever read, uh, Gaul Vidal's Caligula by William Harrod. Okay, uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do this because this book just was something. I don't normally do this, but before I start talking about um, Caligula, I just wanted to put in a quick trigger warning. Um, so this book has some very troubling content in it, and I'm going to be talking about that content in the video. Um, so if you are, um, you know, if you feel you are likely to be triggered by that, or indeed you have small children around, um, I suggest you don't. <laughs> I suggest you don't watch this video. Okay, let me talk about the, the background to this book first. So, so this book. Uh, Gore Vidal's Caligula is based on um, the movie Caligula, uh, which came out in 1979. Um, so if you don't know, Caligula was like a mega budget porn movie <laughs> um, financed by the owner of uh, Penthouse, uh, directed by a, a director called Tinto Brass, who had um, garnered a bit of fame um, in kind of filmmaking circles for a film he made a few years before called Salon Kitty, uh, which is a fairly famous kind of erotic movie. Um, and they decided that it would be a good idea to make a, you know, like a mega budget porn film. Um, they recruited Gore Vidal to write the screenplay for it. So Gore Vidal, obviously a very well known, very well respected um, American writer who had, you know, a big interest in uh, kind of history um, and had written some, you know, a, a number of non-fiction books about history already. Um, so he was he was um, hired to write the screenplay based on the life of the Roman Emperor Caligula, um, who was famously, um, you know, insane and did all sorts of crazy things during his time. Time, um, as Caesar. Um, so, so they then got a bunch of very famous actors to appear in the film. Uh, so Michael McDowell is in it, Helen Mirren is in it, John Gilgood is in it. Um, you know, a load of really, really famous, very well respected actors. Um, as the filming of it progressed, um, a lot about the screenplay was changed and Gore Vidal um, finally decided he didn't want his name associated with it at all. Um, there were a lot of extra scenes filmed um, with, you know, kind of bit players um, doing sexy stuff to kind of sex it up a bit more. Um, and, you know, the final film, um, I think, is, is not regarded by, uh, by anybody as a masterpiece of either filmmaking or pornography. Um, but, you know, it was a time when uh, novelizations of movies were very, very common. Um, and a, um, a an author called William Johnston was commissioned to write a write a novelization um, of Gore Vidal's screenplay. Later copies of this book don't have the Gore Vidal bit on on the top. They just listed as Caligula because uh, obviously Gore Vidal had asked for his name to be um, disassociated with the project. Um, so William Johnston um, was a an author who published a lot of novelizations already. Um, but typically the novelizations he wrote were of like family friendly stuff. So he wrote novelizations of like Happy Days, the TV show and the Munsters and things like that. So, you know, completely inoffensive um, stuff that kids watched. Um, so because of that, he decided putting his, uh, his real name on the cover of the book probably wasn't a very good idea. So it was published under the name William Howard. Um, so you've got a number of people who are already kind of distancing themselves in one way or another um, from this work. OK, so that's kind of the background in terms of um, the movie and, uh, and the, the authorship of this book. So what, the, what is the book like? Well, as I said at the start, it is absolutely obscene. There are few acts of perversion that you could think of that are not covered in some way in this book. Um, it's not a very long book. It's 200 pages, but it packs a lot of uh, fairly disturbing smut into those pages. Um, so I, I think one thing it does, which which I think is a, a positive thing, is so Caligula is bisexual. And it's very frank about his bisexuality. It's very non-judgmental about his bisexuality. And I thought for, you know, a book that came out in the 70s, that was that was pretty cool and quite, you know, felt quite modern in a way. Um, everything else about the book pretty much <laughs> is bad. Um, there are some there are some fairly lengthy kind of history type bits, which are just a bit dry and dull. But the vast majority of the book is just sex. 
and the type of sex that is covered is is quite disturbing so there's a lot of incest in the book um which is p perhaps you would expect so i think incest as a theme in particularly um particularly uh books or movies about like dynasties and emperors and things like that is something that we almost come to expect nowadays i'm not sure if it was so common back in the 70s but clearly you know game of thrones had multiple incest themes uh, woven throughout it uh, and something like um uh, gladiator the um the ridley scott film um that has incest in it as well so the 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 emperor in that um is very similar in a lot of ways actually to um to Caligula in that he kills uh, he kills his uh, father or grandfather or whatever it is the previous emperor in order to come to power um, and is also uh, involved in incest with his sister so this book opens with an extremely explicit and quite lengthy um, scene of incest between Caligula and his sister and you later find out in the book that he has um, been engaging in incest with all three of his sisters since they were children um, and it's that um, that sexual content involving children, which is definitely the most troubling thing about the book. And it is a constant theme throughout the book. Um, so there are many, many scenes where children are described in sexual ways and in non, you know, it, it is, it's pretty non-judgmental about it, um, which I found very difficult to read. So, um, you know, it, it portrays these scenes in in exactly the same way as it portrays the other sexual scenes. So it makes no distinction between sex between consenting adults and sex between adults and children, which clearly is very, very suspect. And I'm not surprised that this book is out of print. I think if if somebody tried to publish this book today, they would find it very difficult to find a publisher. And clearly, you know, this, this edition was published by Futura, who were a major UK publisher, you know, still are today and, and certainly were in the 70s. Um, so, yeah, clearly, you know, very different times. Um, and yes, it's, it's a difficult book to read because of that. There are also some sexual scenes which are troubling in other ways, but also... Um, not not quite so deeply troubling and and which are enjoyably trashy um, so for example there's a scene towards the end of the book um, where um, on their wedding day um, Caligula rapes both the bride and the groom um, so that was, that was quite an, um, in a horrible way quite an entertaining scene um, and definitely very trashy so this book came to my attention because one of the subscribers Troy Treadup who um, I have to say has not read the book suggested that this may be the trashiest book ever written um, because it's a novelization which automatically makes it a bit trashy and it's based on Caligula which is a famously trashy film um, and you know what I think he might be right um, I certainly didn't enjoy it as much as um, some of the other trash that I've read um, in the run-up to Garb August um, but it's definitely trashy <laughs> I mean this is very trashy um, and very dodgy and I do not encourage anybody out there to read it um, I don't know what I'm even going to do with this copy I don't want to give it to a charity shop because I don't want some poor unsuspecting person to come across it um, so yes a very troubling book um, an interesting uh, you know kind of a fairly interesting I think story behind it um, and yes definitely 100% trash Okay, time for another random book from the shelves. I thought I'd go with something trashy, but this is a different sort of trash. So this is The Death Squad uh, by Jack Cannon. So Jack Cannon, uh, like William Howard, is a pseudonym. A uh, pseudonym for the um, writer of great big uh, kind of espionage thrillers, Nelson DeMille, who, whose books I do quite enjoy. So early on in his career, um, he published this series of books about a detective called Joe Riker. Um, there are other books um, by other authors also about Joe Riker, um, I believe, but I think the, uh, the Nelson DeMille ones were the first ones. And Joe Riker is kind of, so he's a New York detective, and he's kind of modelled on Dirty Harry in that he's completely disgusting and will do whatever he needs to to, uh, to catch the bad guys. Um, so this one is about a vigilante army on the, streets of, uh, on the streets of New York. I've not read this one yet. I've read the first three in the series, I'm um, really quite enjoyed all of them, so I'm looking forward to getting to this one at some point. 
Okay, thank you very much for watching. This is the final countdown to Garb August video. Next Thursday, we will be into Garb August, um, which I'm very much looking forward to. Very much looking forward to sharing the love of trash with many, many people out there who I hope will take part. Uh, but I w what I would say is, if you're going to read trash for Garb August, do not read Caligula. <laughs> Seriously, don't read it. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading better stuff than Caligula. Uh, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.